Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm at the Goodwill and afterwards I will go into the American Thrift Store. So come along with me. I am looking for specific items that I wrote on my list. Hopefully I'll find them. If not, I will definitely still share all of my finds with y'all at the very end of this video. Not much to see at the Goodwill, but I did notice these beautiful, authentic name brand handbags at reasonable prices. Now, one bag in particular stood out to me, y'all. The Dooney and Burt bag, it was priced for $59.99. I wish that I would have purchased it, but on the other hand, I'm glad that I didn't because I don't really need it. It was just absolutely beautiful. Here it is, y'all. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And overall, it was just in great condition. No stains no tears or anything and like i said it's the original dooney and burke collection I've been trying to simply decorate my coffee table, y'all. So on my list, I wanted a tray, just something simple that I could use for year round, but I didn't find it at the um, American Thrift Store. One tray that I did notice, it was $7.99, I believe the price. It was a little too busy for my liking. I'm looking for something more simple and I don't want it to overshadow my coffee tables. I'm definitely not in the Christmas spirit yet, y'all, but I did see a fun craft to do with these um, houses that I'm thinking about maybe incorporating this Christmas season. I 
I thought the salt and pepper strawberry shakers were so cute and cottagey, perfect for the spring or summer season. Not sure exactly where I will place them in my home, but they're just pretty to look at. And that's one of the reasons why I enjoy thrifting. I may not buy every single thing like I used to. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying to just simplify and just be more intentional. y'all so i picked up this blue and white i think it's a gravy bowl for $3.99 it wasn't on sale i'm not sure exactly what i'm going to use it for but i love that classic blue and white color scheme in my home and also have this vintage iron bucket here with the handles it was priced for $14.99 which i think is quite steep but i thought it'd be a great idea to use as a planter since I couldn't find the tray that I was looking for, I decided just to improvise and use this tray that I had on my dresser. It's this vanity tray here, beautiful vintage brass, and I thought it was just perfect for my coffee table. I also want to share this wooden vintage cabinet. I'm not sure exactly what to call it, but I purchased this off of Facebook Marketplace like five to six years ago, y'all. It's a solid wood piece here and I only paid maybe $20 to $25 for it. I'm not even sure, but y'all, my original idea was to resell it on Facebook Marketplace, but now I'm thinking things over. This is a great piece of furniture here, great for storage. I originally had my onions and potatoes in it, but now y'all, I'm just gonna clean it up. And I had these knobs here for a long period of time as well that I thrifted from the Goodwill. So my overall goal is to utilize the things that I have. I thrift a lot, I go antiquing, and there are times I just store it in my closet. So hopefully y'all are inspired with this video just to not consume a lot, even when you're out thrifting, but try to think of creative ways to use what you have. So this is how it looked. Yes, I have chips at the top, but I will find a better way to store my items in here. But thanks y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more.